Hey guys, Bondo here. I'm going to take you through this little house that I built a couple years ago. Um, this is a super energy efficient house and I actually rent it out. It's one of my rental properties. But uh, I'm doing another radiant heat video for you guys. So I just want to show you through the house first. You can kind of get a feel for the house and how I build it. I got a bunch of build pictures. I'm sorry about this video. It's turned the wrong way. It was filmed with a with a phone a couple years ago. Um, but here it is, guys. A little uh, 24 by 32 house, Cape Cod type of house. Um, I cut all the lumber with my sawmill and built this thing all out of rough cut lumber. Here's a kitchen. It's got tile floor, um, stainless steel appliances. I actually bought these cupboards um, second hand and I re reworked them. Pulled the faces off, built new boxes. Got some nice closet storage here under the under the um, stairs. There's another closet. This is it's a two bedroom house, guys. Um, got hardwood floors throughout it, as you can see. Here's another closet. There's not much sheetrock in the house. It's mostly all wood. Um, I did like live edge, um, a lot of live edge wood around the windows and stuff. A lot of stuff I saw it up. There's the bathroom pretty small bathroom little vanity that I made you can see the live edge wood around the windows and stuff and this is like a sunroom in the back they call it a sunroom and the utility room is going to be coming up here here's the utility room guys there's the boiler to the right it's actually a, a water heater that's what I'm going to be showing you in a little bit stay with me on this video after this tour I'm going to show you some build pictures of how we build it and then I'm going to show you the boiler system and how it's all tied together and why this house is so efficient and you know why it heats so well going up the stairs here guys we put like a tin ceiling up here I thought it looked pretty cool um, it's just corrugated metal galvanized metal I thought that was kind of unique how we did that there's like uh, the master bedrooms. We're walking in the master bedroom here. Still hardwood floors through the whole thing. Closet space. So that's pretty much the house, guys. Like I said, stay with me. This video will get a little more interesting here. I'll show you all the build videos and stuff, or the build pictures, and then uh, the radiant heat system at the end. Okay guys, so here's some pictures of the building as we built it. Here's the foundation. Um, we put it, some ICF blocks down. Did like a frost protected foundation out of these ICFs. And I uh, used them as a form. You can see the rebar down in there. I just cut the inner form off with a chainsaw after I put them on. There's a slab being poured, me and Johnny Garrison. There's me, Matt, and Frank after we framed the deck. Here's the tubing, guys, how I laid the tubing in there. Actually worked really good. Um, put the tubing in before I put the plywood down, so that worked out real good. Just hung it off of those bridging straps. Here's Big Biscuit framing walls. He wasn't so big then. Here's the walls framed up after the foundation was on. And here's how I did the roof, guys. It's a ventilated roof. There's a picture of me on the roof. It's all strapped. And here's the siding going on. I got an inch and a half of foam board on the outside of this house, guys. And then it's got the strapping on it, so it's all ventilated. All breathes good. And it's a 2x6 construction, rough cut. It's all rough cut. And there's dense pack cellulose packed in there. That's how the house was built. Okay, guys, here's the HTP water heater this is propane fired and this is the setup it comes up I got my supply side here comes out goes over to this pressure tank got your air separator there's my pump it comes up loops around and goes back over here up to my manifold setup, which is right there. That's the heat side manifold. 
all these pipes that come out of here they go down into the basement or into the crawl space i should say and that's the heat side of things i got a few extra zones there i got three zones if i need them but i don't need them got air you can bleed the system with these air takeoffs off the side i mounted it to this unistrut and these cushion clamps so everything's nice and solid i got shutoffs on here and this side over here is my home run plumbing system that's just domestic water right there guys that's what that is so that just comes off i got the water heater over here which this is just does domestic water so it, this is not a it doesn't tie into the heat system this is just electric hot water heater but this this uh htp vents out pvc so you got two lines that t into one that go outside i'll show you that goes outside into um a, a exhaust vent which actually draws air this one draws air into the system the other one vents this one here vents so that's how this is set up this over here this is where the return water comes like i said this is the supply but this is the return here we got a supply this is supply of water to keep water into the system this is just a, a air bleed off you got a you got a backflow preventer and a pressure reducing valve so that's what these two are that's a backflow preventer so that boiler water doesn't go back into the system and this is the pressure reducing valve so that's how that goes and this just comes off this one here the feed just goes up and ties into right there up in there which is just the supply that supplies the system and this box here guys is 24 volts which goes into that Taco one zone control valve that's an SR501 control valve right now it's not calling for heat that zone one would be red if it was calling for heat so we got 24 volts coming from the thermostat which turns sends a signal right here which goes into this pump this is a 009 Taco 009 pump and that pumps water through like I said through here up into the supply header which goes down into the crawl space and then this is the return side and I got a check valve in here so it won't the water won't be able to pull in the opposite direction it's a lot simpler than it looks guys and this like I said here's an electric hot water heater there's the power to that comes over to this junction box here which comes from the panel box and this is the gas line coming in right here got it hard piped here goes into there and that's that we're running 124 degrees fahrenheit on that unit pretty slick setup just wanted to show you guys that that's the setup for this house and it works really good doesn't burn much fuel either guys i'm underneath this crawl space this is underneath the house this is where all the radiant heat lines are you can see back in the corner where they come down i'm not going to crawl way over there but this is what i wanted to show you we cut grooves and put the heat lines in before we put the deck on so you can kind of see it i can't really see it very good but that's how we did the heat lines guys that one's a little better there they are again cutting in cut those grooves in there that's how i did it worked really good just wanted to show you that too guys do me a favor if you like this video so far hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, go ahead and subscribe. Check out my channel first if you want. We do a lot of cool stuff on there. Uh, a lot of concrete work, a lot of foundation work, a lot of uh, ICF stuff. Um, get on there, check it out. Subscribe, guys. I really appreciate the support. Um, thanks for watching the video.
we'll close it out here in a minute. Here's where the propane comes in. Like I said, I hard lined it in. It was underground right there. Runs underground over to the propane tank, which is here. Poured a nice concrete pad for it. Right there. They put conduit coming up through right here. So I had that all in before we put the tank on, obviously. That's the house. Super insulated, in floor radiant heat, and a conditioned space under the crawl space. 